If you or someone you know is in the beginning stages of your relationship with God and you want to grow closer to Him, in this video I want to share some encouragement with you. Hello, my name is LS and welcome to my official YouTube channel. On my channel, I will be discussing topics on every aspect of life, and the goal is to entertain, educate, and motivate you. I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to another video. I want to share some things with you to keep in mind, and I'm confident they'll help you along your journey. Now, I want to start off by saying that no, I am not a pastor, but I love God with all my heart. I've learned a lot. I'm still learning and growing. And growing closer to Christ is at the top of my list above everything I can ever do or want to do. And I want to share some things with you that I hope you'll receive and that will, again, help you along your journey. First thing I want to share with you is your prayer life. When I first started my relationship with God, I made praying more complicated than it needed to be. I overthought to the point where I would just not pray because I made it complicated. I want to encourage you to keep KISS in mind. K-I-S. Keep it simple. When you pray to God, you don't have to stop what you're doing, get on your knees and pray. That's great, but don't feel that you have to do that because Although it's great, it's not necessary. Praying is communicating with God. So while you're at work or in the gym or washing laundry or cleaning the kitchen, whatever you're doing, you can communicate with God at all times. Pray your life. You'll grow closer to Christ in his heart and he'll grow closer to yours. But you have to communicate with him. It's just like any relationship. If there's no communication, there's nothing there. But the more you communicate, you learn about each other and you grow. So keep it simple. Just communicate with God in the morning when you wake up, throughout the day when you're doing anything that you're doing, even driving, just talk to him. He wants to hear from you. And God will talk back to you. I know it sounds crazy to some people, but I'm telling you from experience, he will communicate back to you. Keep it simple. Pray so you can grow closer to him. You can do it and I believe in you. If you're not already doing it, I want to encourage you to read scripture. We live in a time where we can have the Bible with us at all times. You can download the Bible app. There's the Bible can actually be read to you from different chapters of the Bible. So really there's no excuse. Reading the Bible will give you guidance and wisdom, and God's Word is powerful. I want to encourage you that if you're not currently reading Scripture, and I know I may feel overwhelming in the beginning, but invite the Holy Spirit to help you, to help you understand. And start in one chapter. Every chapter you're led to start with, just start. There's no wrong way to read the Bible. The point is, is that you make time, you read it, or you listen to it, and you absorb what you're learning, and the Holy Spirit will help you. So make sure that you're making time to read scripture, even if it's a few scriptures once a day or twice a day, make time to read the scripture. It's important to get into God's word so that way, again, you can receive guidance and wisdom and more. You can do it, and I believe in Worship and praise, when we think about that, we think you have to be in a church. That's not the case. As long as you have an attitude of gratitude and you thank God for everything that he's blessed you with because you are surrounded by blessings, no matter what you're facing, what you've gone through, there's so many blessings that we're surrounded by including God's grace and mercy that is new every day. I wanna encourage you to worship God wherever you're at. If you're in the gym, thank him. Thank him for a lot of things that come to mind or people. Thank him for experiences that you thought were gonna form against you and prosper and they didn't. 
so many reasons to worship and praise God, we have to shift our focus from the problems that we're facing and give it over to God and, and tell him that we appreciate him for making us strong, for giving us courage, for allowing us to learn from bad experiences and so on because his grace is a beautiful blessing and I wanna encourage you to receive it today. The last thing I wanna share with you is that to surrender and trust God, whatever you're facing, give it over to God and trust him. You'll grow closer to him. You'll feel more peace. You'll feel the weight lifted off your shoulders. Surrender. Don't do it alone. Doing it alone, there's no need for that. We don't have to face anything that we're going through alone. God is there. So I want to encourage you today, if you have not already surrendered, to surrender whatever it is you're facing and to really start to trust God today, you'll grow closer to him. And that's all he wants is to spend time with you. These words of encouragement, you receive it because I share it in love. And there's nothing more important than growing closer to God. And you can do it every single day. God is faithful. He'll never forsake in you. So I hope you receive these words of encouragement. As always, God bless you and your family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen? I hope you receive Thank it. you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to subscribe. God bless you and your family.